Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question, but today it's gonna to be called ATV Question. You know, we know, everybody knows that we like to ride everything that has an engine. And a lot of you that knows me, um, I live in Quebec and it's a pretty amazing winter that we get here. A lot of snow and finally we got served just a few weeks ago and there's a lot of that. And when you buy something, power sports, ATV, side by side, well, sometimes you cannot use your machine all year long because the tires don't have a lot of traction. But guess what? There is some tracks that you can buy and this will transform any machine into a beast. So we're gonna review the Camso X4S. Those are brand new tracks from Camso, by the way, which is Michelin. And they do a lot of product for power sports. They do some snowmobile tracks also. And I really love the design of those. So why should you buy those? As I said before, you're gonna spend a lot of money for that machine. You want to use it as much as possible, enjoy and have some fun all year long. So with those, you're gonna be able to face even the worst of winter out there. Let's say that you want to work with your ATV because yes, this is a Honda. This is not the most powerful machine out there. Well, this one is perfect to work on the farm, work on your land and guess what it's going to be able to do some amazing thing because they don't use cvt they use a shaft and this is a really strong if you check the product lineup on the camso website you're going to come up to the choice x4s or t4s well let's look at the difference first of all the x4s those little wheels are a little bit larger they can support more weight you've got also those bearings that you can change so maintenance over time is pretty much easy you've got a different pocket also depending on the cc of your engine depending on its size so you will have up to 15 and 18 tooth on your pocket with the price that those costs you want to use them as much as possible and you can use them in every season of the year still i would be careful in the mud though i don't really like mud also when you check at the atv that we choose it's the brand new honda 520 cc's the rubicon equipped with the dct transmission over the years they made some modification to that the transmission it's faster it doesn't shift as often as it used to do and also you can put it in manual and how about reverse finally just that little red switch that you press Press the button down, it's gonna move into reverse. Press up, still holding that button and you're gonna be in first gear, ready to move forward. And I really like that ATV for its reliability. It's not the strongest one, it's not the fastest one, but when it comes to reliability, it's pretty hard to beat. Look at that, I've got still my Honda 4 Trax 350, which is a beast. I'm gonna send that little ATV anywhere into a lot of stuff and it's still gonna come up on top and over the year have not spent a single dime on maintenance. Yes, some brand new tires, some oil, but next thing you know, that little beast is ready. And how about my good old Big Red? Jeez, I love that machine. 250 cc though. This is the kind of machine that will kill you in an instant, but still Honda reliability at its best because it's still working strong. So that Honda Rubicon has power steering, which is really a must when you're gonna put on some tracks. And Camso is telling us that those tracks can be mounted on ATV with 300 cc's. Ooh, that's kind of short. I would recommend 500 cc's and a little bit higher. How about that front design? I really love that. First of all, it looks really strong and you can see the track as that angle. So you will have less snow on yourself when you're gonna make some turning maneuvers. And how about traction in that deep fluffy stuff that we have? It's gonna bite. And how about how wide it is? 11.5 inches up the front, 12.5 inches in the rear. And you've got that great traction. I love how those are really big. It's a beast out there. And how about that fluffy snow that we get here in Quebec? We were served when we did those images, but still you can see how deep that snow is. So how hard for the machine was it to pull and be able simply to move all around? Also take note, every machine has its limit. If there's fluffy snow and you get so deep that the belly pan is just holding you on, well, probably you won't make it. Any machines, any horsepower, anything that doesn't have traction won't do much. So 
if there's a lot of snow up there, you don't want to get stuck. Here is an easy, pretty trick. So you just pull up with your tracks and as soon as you're feeling that you're getting deeper, you simply move back. It will make that snow path harder and you simply get on it with more speed and the next thing you know, you will be able to climb. We didn't even use the winch, but as you can see with the video that we are showing you, since I've got some great moves, I was able to pull it out without any winch or without any friend and that that's the best thing about it. So as you know, adding tracks won't make your ATV faster. No, it will make it slower. So in the trail, that Honda might not be the best machine. So you want to go with something which has a bigger engine if you want to do some trail riding. But here, while working with it, while snow grooming with it, next thing you know, it's pretty amazing. So in the D mode, let's say the high gear, I won't be able to punch in the fifth gear, even in manual mode, the engine simply won't be able to do it. So I prefer to work in low range, use the second, third and fourth gear, which is gonna give me optimum speed and power to make sure that I will be able to get over most obstacle. So as you can see, even with my equipment on the back, I was able to get up those hill. Traction is just impressive with those track. On the minus side though, even if that Honda has some amazing reliability, 520 cc is kind of average for those track. I would like to go faster and sometimes have more power, but still reliability is over amazing with that machine and that's what I wanted over the years. There is a lot of adjustment that you need to make to those tracks so if you want to install them yourself well get ready it's going to take some time. In the manual it said two hours for a professional and one hour is the next time that you're going to reinstall them. So for myself I did prefer to simply install them at the dealer where I purchased the machine because it was due for a little maintenance only oil that's a Honda. Still, you're gonna have to be careful though if you don't have any heated garage. Well, this is gonna transform into a nice block pretty quickly. So after each run, you need to remove the ice, you need to remove the snow that will be in your tracks to make sure that you're ready to go next time. That's the same thing for a snowmobile, by the way. So I don't really like also the vibration on a real hard surface. They got a lot better over the time. No, too shaky for me. And I would be careful already in the deep mud with it even if it's for season I don't like to see those tracks rolling on big rocks and even less in the mud where so many contaminants could get into the gear and to have much more maintenance over time on those tracks on the plus side though turning precision and how easy it is to glide over the snow. The quality of the construction, look at those tracks these are so massive these are big and they're great quality for a big price though. And you got finally those bearing of those little wheels that you will be able to change so it won't be a pain in the ass just like the older version of those tracks. And look how I simply float on the snow. I just really like to simply ride that machine all year long. So there you go. What do you think about that? What do you think about those tracks? I'm really amazed by those and I can't wait to go ride again. And I will keep you updated also on how it goes over time to see how they will hold on. So feel free to comment any question down there below. Do a thumbs up because you like, subscribe to car question or ATV question because the French Wolf Rhine will be there to present you another video. Take care, au revoir mes amis.